The British Army's artillery capabilities have faced increasing scrutiny since the end of the Cold War. The AS-90, designed in the 1980s as the artillery system for the 1990s, was introduced to replace the M109 howitzer with 179 units acquired. However, post-Cold War defense budget cuts and a shift away from large-scale conventional warfare led to a significant reduction in active AS-90 units. Operations in Iraq and Afghanistan in the early 2000s and the donation of 32 AS-90s to Ukraine in 2022 further strained the British Army's artillery capacity, reducing its operational 155mm systems to just 14 Archer howitzers acquired from Sweden as a stopgap solution. This stopgap measure, while rapid, highlighted the need for a long-term replacement, accelerating the Mobile Fires Platform program's timeline from the 2030s to the 2020s. The UK's Mobile Fires Platform program represents a critical effort to modernize the British Army's artillery capabilities addressing a significant capability gap exposed by evolving global threats and the conflict in Ukraine. The program, initiated in the late 2010s, seeks to procure a new 155mm self-propelled artillery system to replace the aging AS-90 self-propelled howitzer with a modern, agile and technologically advanced artillery system. The program emphasizes interoperability with NATO allies, rapid deployment, and the ability to integrate new technologies, such as automated loading systems and hybrid propulsion, over a 30-year service life. In January 2020, the UK's Defence Equipment and Support DE &S, agency released key user requirements, marking a shift from earlier ambitions outlined in a 2019 request for information. Initial goals included an 80 km range, which was later deemed unnecessary due to overlap with the Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System GMLRS. Instead, the program refocused on a 155mm L-52 gun, either wheeled or tracked, with enhanced range, accuracy and modularity to allow future upgrades. The Mobile Fires Platform program attracted several contenders, reflecting a debate over wheeled versus tracked platforms. Key options included 1. Archer by BAE Systems Bofors Archer is a 6x6 wheeled system with a 155mm L-52 howitzer offering a 50 km range with extended range ammunition. The Archer's rapid deployment and automation, requiring only three to four crew members, made it a strong interim solution. The UK acquired 14 Archers from Sweden in March 2023 to replace donated AS-90s with full operational capability by April 2024. However, its different chamber size raised compatibility concerns. Two. K-9 Thunder by Hanwha Defense K-9 Thunder is a tracked 155mm howitzer, operationally proven in multiple nations. Hanwha formed Team Thunder, partnering with UK companies like Lockheed Martin UK to propose a made-in-the-UK variant. The K-9 offered robust mobility and firepower, but faced challenges in meeting the Ministry of Defense's tight timeline for initial deliveries. 3. Caesar by Nexter. Caesar is a 6x6 wheeled system with proven combat effectiveness in Ukraine. However, Nexter's limited ability to deliver systems quickly, only 6 units in the required time frame, reduced its competitiveness. 4. RCH-155 by Kraus Maffei Wegman. RCH-155 is a wheeled 155mm howitzer mounted on the Boxer armored vehicle offering a high rate of fire, up to 9 rounds per minute, and 360-degree firing capability. Its integration with the Boxer family, already in use by the British Army, promised logistical efficiencies and interoperability. 
The RCH-155 emerged as the frontrunner due to its alignment with the UK's future force structure and NATO commitments. In April 2024, the Ministry of Defense announced a landmark agreement with Germany to develop and procure the RCH-155 as the mobile fires platform's enduring solution. This decision followed a competitive evaluation, with the RCH-155 selected over the Archer and K-9 for its advanced capabilities and economic benefits, including job creation in the UK and Germany. The program is expected to generate £3 billion in export potential and support hundreds of jobs across over 100 UK-based suppliers, reinforcing the UK's defence industrial base. The Ministry of Defence is currently accelerating the RCH-155's delivery through a joint UK-Germany assessment and qualification plan, leveraging combined testing facilities to reduce costs and timelines. This aligns with the urgency articulated by UK military leaders, emphasizing rapid capability enhancement amid heightened global tensions. The RCH-155, built on the Boxer platform, offers several advantages. Firepower. The 155mm L-52 gun provides a range of over 40 kilometers, potentially up to 54 kilometers with advanced munitions, and a high rate of fire. Its ability to deliver multiple rounds simultaneously in a 360-degree arc enhances battlefield flexibility. As a wheeled platform, the RCH-155 aligns with the British Army's emphasis on mobility, complementing the Boxer mechanized infantry vehicle. This contrasts with tracked systems like the K-9, which offer superior cross-country performance but are less suited to rapid road-based deployment. The RCH-155's commonality with the Boxer family reduces logistical burdens and enhances NATO interoperability, particularly with Germany, which also operates Boxer variants. The UK is currently experiencing a capacity gap. The donation of AS-90s to Ukraine left the British Army with limited 155mm artillery, relying temporarily on the 105mm L-118 light gun for some units which is ill-suited for high-intensity European conflicts. Furthermore, previous Ministry of Defense efforts to customize systems have led to delays and cost overruns. There are concerns that the RCH-155, still in development, could face similar issues if the Ministry of Defense insists on bespoke modifications. <laughs>